Chapter 8 Historical Research History A Meaningful Record of Human Achievement Research Formal, systematic application of scientific method to the study of problems. Historical research involving analysis of events that occurred in the remote or recent past. Characteristic of historical research, it is not a mere accumulation of facts and data. It is a flowing, vibrant report of past events collecting and reading the research material. It deals with discovery of data. It is analytical and that uses logical induction. It has a variety of facts such as issues, events, movement, and concept. The historian attempts to give meaning to the facts in light of a relevant query. The basic purposes of historical research are to provide a clear perspective of the present and to facilitate planning for the future by identifying general principles applicable to recurring situations. Here are some purpose of historical research. To solve contemporary problems, learn from past failures and success, make prediction, to re-evaluate data in relation to selected hypotheses, theories, and generalizations, to understand how and why educational theories and practices development. It may be useful at this point to distinguish through historical research and chronology, Chronology is a describing events in the order of their occurrence, a process similar to the older concept of historical research. While true historical research, or historiography, or intellectual history, is concerned with analyzing and interpreting the meaning of historical events with their context, it is the process by which the researcher is able to reach a conclusion as to the probable truth of an event in the past by studying objects available for observation in the present. A knowledgeable and understanding of good historical research can help librarians build on the past in an efficient, effective manner to avoid reinventing the wheel and to develop new theories and systems to advance the professions. Why would a person want to conduct historical research? Historical research is conducted to uncover the unknown, answer questions, relationship that the past has to the present, record and evaluate accomplishment of the individuals, agencies, or institutions, and in understanding the culture in which we live. The data gathered to historical research can come from a wide variety of sources, among the more commonly used are following Official records, such as laws, deeds, annual reports of organizations, charters, and so on Newspapers and other periodicals Eyewitness accounts of events Archives, manuscripts, letters, and personal diaries Source of data These sources are broadly classified into two types the primary sources, which are documents, numerical records, oral statements, relics, and remains in the artifacts. The secondary sources, which are textbook, encyclopedia, biography, periodicals, and other references. A primary source is an original, first-hand record or account or artifact that has survived from the past. It has direct involvement with the event being investigated. For having direct physical relationship, the possibility of error is very little. Primary sources has no dependency on secondary resources. Researchers are reliable on primary sources. A secondary source is an account of the past created after the event and created from primary sources. It has no directed involvement with the event being investigated. It is very possible that the secondary sources contain error due to passing of information from one source to another. Secondary sources are totally dependent upon primary sources. Researchers do not rely on secondary sources. The basic steps of historical research First, Identification of a problem of historical significance Second, Collection of background information or literature review of the secondary data. Third, formulating of hypothesis when possible. Fourth, gathering of evidence or data. 
or including verification of the authenticity of the primary sources and the validity and reliability of their contents. Fifth, organization and analysis of the pertinent data, or more often qualitative than quantitative. Lastly, interpretation of the findings or the drawing of conclusions. The use of hypothesis in historical research helps to increase the objectivity of the study and minimize researcher bias. It also guides the researcher in the collection, analysis, and the interpretation of data by indicating what is relevant to the study. The hypothesis provides a basis for considering various factors in relation to one another and for synthesizing them into a generalization or conclusion that puts their overall significance in focus. The data collection technique for historical research, or at least for documentary research, basically involves putting together in a logical fashion the evidence derived from document or records. This process also often involves the comparing and recording the of information gathered from two or more sources.